Holy shit, are you kidding me? It's between you and another girl. Before making their decision, uh, they need to know if you have any gymnastics experience and how well you work with exotic animals. Uh, yeah, I have like 12 years of gymnastics experience and I'm dog sitting for my grandparents right now. I'm basically an animal whisperer. Mm, yeah, that's great, Marcy. I'll let them know. Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Um, do they need to know anything else? Like, shoe size, SAT scores? Oh, tell them that I'm willing to shave, like, everything. I gotta go, bye. Oh. Okay, bye. Yes! Puddles! Look up how to do a Brazilian wax from home. Here's what I found. First, strip naked. Hey, Gramps. Hi, sweetie. You guys make it to the airport? Uh, we're just about uh, 20 minutes away. Are you at the house yet, sweetie? Yeah, I just got here. Okay, well, everything's out as usual. There's treats on the kitchen counter, uh, doggy bags in the laundry room, and Marcy, and let's not forget Puddle's medicine this time. We don't want another trip to the vet now, do we? I know, Grandma, that was one right. time. Well, I am so thrilled that you were there and that Josh will be there. The two of you taking care of our baby. And by the way, I did change the sheets in the spare bedroom. Just in case the two of you want to Stir up some trouble. <laughs> Ew, Grandma. Well, honey, you can't blame me. I want some little baby cheeks to pinch. Anyways, you guys excited for your trip? Oh, we cannot wait. Oh, we've waited an entire lifetime for this trip. And Josh has helped me with the research. Amazing. Oh, well, you guys are in for such a treat. I booked you guys at the prettiest hotel in all of Cabo. Marcy, honey, he's a keeper, for sure. Yeah, totally. Oh, I've been so excited to tell you guys. I got a callback for a huge part in a movie. Marcy, honey, does a callback mean that you're actually going to get the job? Uh, no. Not really. Oh, Okay, um, well, hun, we're almost at the airport, so we're gonna let you go. Oh, okay, um, have a safe trip. We will. And make sure to take lots of pictures of puddles while we're gone. <laughs> All right, babe, we gotta go. Love you. Bye. Bye. Puddles? Puddles? <sighs> Stupid dog. Puddles? Puddles? You'll need to 
in with a costume designer Wendy by Friday for a wardrobe fitting. She'll need to get your measurements, and then there's a tiger trainer on the next day, and they need to know how long it's going to take. not believe how packed the airport was today. I mean, the line for TSA was wrapped around the whole building and back. Oh, and get this, there was this really old lady who ran over my foot with her luggage, and she cursed me out for it. Can you believe that? <laughs> I mean, I still felt bad, so I carried her luggage for her and helped her find her gate, but anyways, uh, how's Puddles? Hey? You okay? Uh, where's Puddles? I don't know. Oh. Uh, Puddles! Come here, boy. Puddles! He's not here. Where is he then? He got out. Oh no. Did you go out and look for him? Yeah. Well, where is he? Is he okay? Oh no, Marcy. How bad is it? Pretty bad. Well, did you take him to the bed? No. Well, let's go and grab him. I I'll get the car started. No, it's okay. Marcy, we have to take him to the vet. I hit him with my car, okay? He's dead. Oh. Okay. Okay. Are you mad? No, 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 no. I'm here for you. I... I'm just gonna need a minute, okay? Oh, shit. See, this is why I didn't want to tell you. Marcy, I can't help it when I'm in touch with my feelings, okay? Oh. Oh. I mean, did you even tell them? Tell who? Your grandparents! What? No. Why? Why would I tell them? Because you killed their dog! Yeah, and they're gonna kill me if they find out! Didn't... Didn't they want you to get pictures or something while they are on their trip? Did you get any photos of the crime scene that you'd like to share with them? Oh, damn it. Fine. You're right. Okay. Here's the plan. We tell them I was out, walking puddles, when this deranged lunatic came up to me with a knife. No, a gun. And he demanded that I give him all my stuff and get in his sketchy white van. And I was like, in your dreams, pervert. And then he started grabbing at me and my hair and my backpack. And I had to let go of puddles to defend myself. And he ran out in the road and got hit. I'm coming at this from a loving place when I say this. I think you need help. What? Marcy, I, I know you, and I know things just sort of happen when you're around. Okay. But now, as someone who loves you and cares about you, I really think you need to tell them, or else this is just going to turn into a bigger and bigger problem. Are you serious? It's not that big of a I'm deal. I'm just trying to help you. Well, I'm not going to tell them. Okay, I I'll tell them. What? No, that is so much worse. Oh! Fine, I'll tell them. Good. I'm really proud of you. Are you going to call them? Yes, I'll call them. Now, right? <laughs> yes, right now. Good. I think 
I'm gonna go cry in the shower for a little bit. Sorry guys. I just can't believe that I left the back gate open. I mean, I think we've all done that before. and we wanted to do something special for you guys. Oh, you shouldn't have! <laughs> yeah, you really shouldn't have. Marcy! Gosh, you look so much older than the last time I saw you. How are you? Good. Really good. Just uh, saving some money before moving down to LA. Oh, what are you studying again? Theater. I got a BFA in theater performance. Oh, that's... Brave. Well, if you ever go back to dog sitting. <laughs> Look, we rescued Cinnamon from the shelter. Isn't she precious? Yeah, excuse me. Marcy, oh my god, I am so sorry about puddles. I have been like crying like all day, but I'm totally here for you, girl. I haven't seen you in forever. What have you been up to? Recently, I've been selling feet pics online and it's done wonders to my bank account. Wonders. I could totally hook you up if you're ever in a pinch. Great. Oh, Marcy, you remember Allison? <laughs> How could I forget? Josh, Allison and her family lived right next door to us for years and years. No, I remember when you two used to make mud pies in our front yard. <laughs> no, Allison would always make her pies by very neatly gathering the loose dirt. Little Marcy here, though, would just Ripped the flowers right out of our garden for hers. <laughs> and Allison, oh, she was always the top of Marcy's class. And, uh, frankly, she's just a star. Wow, well, what are you studying now? Computer science. Oh, look at that. Beauty and brains. Oh, your family must be so proud of you. Yes, you guys did such a good job on this. Will you excuse me? How did the talk with them go? Good, they took it pretty well. Wow, they are just so sweet. I can't imagine what they're going through right now. Well, I think I'm gonna go back out there and check on them. Do you need anything? No, just go. Hey guys! Oh, Josh, honey, you did such a great job on this. There's so many memories here. Did you put this together by yourself? Well, Marcy was busy grieving, so it was just me and the neighbors, but we really love you guys so much. I just feel so sorry for her. I mean, we go and leave the back gate open, and, and she lets puddles out like she's supposed to with it goes right out the gate. I knew I shouldn't have told you to lock that gate. I did lock it. Oh, like you lock the shit. Marcy, could you give me that for a second, please? Five years ago. It's fine. It's it's hey, hey, hi. No, uh, don't you have something you'd like to tell them? Josh, tell them. Not right now. All right, I'll tell them. Stop. Just tell them. Marcy, honey, what's going on? I... Uh, 
I uh I'm pregnant. Do this right now. Marcy, I don't understand you sometimes. How hard is it Marcy, for you to just tell the fine. truth? Please, we could just talk this fine. out. Fine. You want me to tell the truth? I'll tell the truth. Fine. I killed Puddles. To be honest with you, I don't feel that bad about it because it's an accident, okay? Accidents happen. It wasn't my fault. I was trying my best. You know, I was actually getting some pretty good news before this whole thing ruined it. Not that any of you care, because you're so wrapped up over that stupid dog and Mr. Perfect over here. But I booked a huge role. Bigger than anything any of you could get in your entire lives. I got it. I earned it. And I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna get famous and forget any of you ever existed, and I'm finally gonna get what I fucking deserve. Now wait, no, Marcy, please, let's just talk this out, please. Let's just go inside and talk about this. No, don't get in the car, please. I love you so much. I didn't know you were feeling this way. No, I love you so much, and I'm so proud of you. Please stop. 